I'd like to take you back to a time when clay was dug off the banks of the local stream bed. When the potter's wheels were kicked by foot, the kilns were fired with wood, and the daily necessities of life were the beautiful yet functional wares that came from the potter's hand. This clay is called redware or earthenware. Fires out that terracotta red that we're so familiar with. Now in shaping the pot, I'm pushing out a bit. Uh, this tool is called a rib. It's a straight edged piece of wood. It just gives me a solid surface to push against so that I can finish the shape. Floral patterns were very common. Uh, some of the larger pieces would be decorated with birds or deer. The cobalt changes its structure in the kiln fire. Once it reaches around 2,000 degrees, that will turn blue. Now this is another job for the apprentices. They would carry the wares to the kiln and help the potter set the pieces inside the kiln for firing. That's the first five. 245 more to go. Once the kiln's hot enough, we're right around 2200 degrees, we can start the salting process. Salt glazing was being done in Europe by around 1570, and the uh, technologies and traditions came to this country as people moved into the New World. Here's the first one out. This one's got a nice little blush down here at the bottom from a little reducing atmosphere. The color looks really nice. 